What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Bitcoin Daily for another video. It is Friday, November the 13th, 2020. You guys, we're getting close to that end of the year. You know, in December, that's when we had that run last time to the all-time highs. Um, today, we're basically doing a market analysis mostly on Bitcoin and then I also go over a few other coins. Basically, I'm looking for trade setups for the weekend. If you've watched our previous videos, you know that our trade setups for the most part work. Obviously, we're not 100%. We don't hit all our trades, but as long as we hit between that 60 to 70%, you know, six out of 10, seven out of 10 trades, I'm a winning trader, you know what I mean? So that's that's kind of what you're aiming for. And then if you're practicing proper risk management and uh, risk to reward ratios, you don't even need to hit 60 to 70% to be a, a profitable trader. So um, that's what we're trying to teach here at Bitcoin Daily. And hopefully you guys have been learning. Uh, make sure to check out those trading tutorials. Make sure also before we get started, hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe and drop a comment, man. Let us know what you guys think. We've been updating, slowly updating these uh, everything here. As you guys can see, we got some cool lights in the background now. We got some light on us so you guys can actually see my face. We got a new camera up there. We got a microphone. I'm not wearing headphones anymore. Man, we're upgrading little by little. So let's jump right in, y'all. Um, so the first thing that we're going to look at, let me move my face out the way before I forget, right? All right, so the first thing we're going to be looking at here today, let's see. Let's refresh this. I like to refresh it just in case. So let's look at today's crypto market cap. So you see the market cap is up to $465.8 billion. That's a 1.6% increase over the last seven days. You see Bitcoin's dominance is up to 64.7%, right? <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Uh, Bitcoin today is up to 16,251. So we finally broke that 16,000, guys. I hope you guys took the trades I gave you guys on Monday. Monday, we gave you guys some great trade setups for this run. Hopefully, you guys took it. Um, you see today it's up 1%. Over the last seven days, up 6%. Um, Ethereum here, up to 469. Um, in the last 24 hours, up 2.5%. In the last seven days, up 7%. Uh, XRP up 3.5% today at 26 cents. Uh, over the last seven days, it's up 7%, uh, I'm sorry, 4%. Uh, Chainlink up to 12.94, up 4% today. Over the last seven days, up 10%. Bitcoin Cash, kind of flat today, but over the last seven days, up 2.5%. Um, Litecoin was a big mover today. Today it moved up 10%, guys. I was pretty big. I was pretty shocked when I got the notification that Litecoin was moving. I was like, what? Litecoin? No way. Since when does Litecoin move, right? Um, so that's up 8% in the last 10 days, but it's up 10% today. Uh, Binance up 1.8%, but it's down over the last uh, seven days. Polkadot up 2.8, 2 but it's pretty much flat on the week. And Cardano up 2.5 today, but pretty much flat over the week. It's down a little bit there, but nothing too serious. Um, and that's pretty much it. EOS is the only other coin that we're trading here. Um, and it's pretty much up 5.8% today, uh, up 4.2 on the week. So let's jump right into the charts. Uh, get this out my way. All right. So let's see what we're, what we're seeing here right now. Let's, let's jump. Let's start with the weekly. I like to, to look at the weekly first. Actually, let's go all the way to the monthly. So let's throw it back. Sorry. I don't know that, but do you like to hear a few things I can do? Alexa is going crazy. I'm sorry about that. I'm oh. quite unusual. That's true. Interrupting my stream. Um, so any, anyways, guys, let's look at, uh, let's look at this. See what we got here. That completely threw me off this month. So far we're up 17%. So it's been crazy on the year. We're up over a hundred percent on the year guys. So if you bought in January on January 1st, if you bought Bitcoin, you're up over 100%. If you bought down here in March, then you're up over 400%. Congrats. Uh, so I just like to, to look at it here from that standpoint and see what's going on. See if I see any, you know, key levels that uh, might stand out to me. 
Then I zoom in a little bit. We'll see here how, how it was ranging here. And then we broke out of that. Broke out of that. Basically just been breaking out of everything, right? And this week, it's another green candle. And then now, this is where we're at. We had this right here. Remember we told you guys to buy this? Look how far down this is. Do you guys remember this? Guys, this I told you guys to buy it at 11,200. And now then I told you guys to buy it took off. Told you guys to buy at 12,800. Took off. Told you guys to buy at 13,000. Took off. You guys, I've given you so many opportunities to buy. Like there's no way they should not be in profit right now. So look at this how it just grinded up this bull flag boom took off and I then grinded another bull flag right there boom broke out and now I'm expecting another bull flag probably we're gonna consolidate under 17,000 until we break out of 17 and once we break 17 I mean that's the biggest resistance we have between us and 20,000 right now so once we break out of 17 we might we could in all honesty, we could shoot directly for 20K from there. We just gotta break that last major resistance that we have. From there, we might we might break out from 17 straight to 20K in one day. So um, that's what happened in 2017 when you know when we hit that all-time high. I'm not saying it's gonna happen like that again, but it could but it might do what it's doing right now it's just been breaking consolidation breaking consolidation breaking consolidation breaking you know what i mean like until and it just working its way up to uh to eighteen thousand. um so that's pretty much what we're looking at right now you'll see the, these uh fibonacci levels here how perfect they were like we basically were in this range so any anything above this Fibonacci level, I was telling people to buy. And look how every time it went up, boom, it would take off. If you would have been selling and trailing properly, you could have been you could have made a lot of profit there. Um, and then we finally we broke out of this one, which was a sixteen thousand level, right? So now that's pretty much our support right there. Pretty much what we're looking at as support today. We actually tested it. Uh, this was a trade that we gave in our in our. Uh, trade groups um, and we're able to ride it from 16,000 basically to 200 300 16,300 400 level so um, congrats if you guys in our trade room uh, if you took those trades congrats guys that was a hell of a trade we've had some a, a few pretty profitable we have we've had a very profitable week uh, yesterday was a little slow it was pretty much break even more or less um, but all the other days we've, we've been making money that's why we call it the money team um so this is currently what we're looking at you'll see how we had the break above the fibonacci level as soon as we broke look at that big green candle then we came back tested it took off again came back tested it took off so um these are the levels that i'm looking at right now guys um as you guys can see here we had this big bull flag that eventually broke out and then now we're, we're making another bull flag for what I'm sus suspecting another continuation up so you got to be ready it's going to continue up so these are the trade setups I'm looking for um 16,000 and 16,500 those are the two trade setups I'm looking for in Bitcoin right now I want to take uh, any setup at 16,000. What I the the way that I play it is exactly how I played it today. Um, you you let it go down. You want it to drop under 16,000 to just kind of test that, and then you want to catch it when it snaps back up. So you look at this candle. This candle started here right it started at what 16,119 ish um it opened at 16,118 it dropped all the way down look at the wick the wick went all the way down the low was 15,965 as soon as i saw that 
I had a I had an alert ready. So as soon as I got the alert, as soon as uh, I saw that, I set up uh, entries right above sixteen thousand. So I ended up getting my entry at sixteen thousand twenty-seven. Um, I had my stop loss basically below this low, which was uh, fifteen thousand nine sixty-five. So I had a stop around uh, fifteen thousand nine sixty. So I was like a $40, $60 stop. Um, and I wrote it up to about 16200 and took profits. So as you can see here, it's it's been just kind of chilling there at 16000 uh, to 300 level, I mean, sorry. Um, it's been chilling here at the 300 to 200 level. So the main, the two main trade setups I'm looking for 16,000 uh, support entry or or 16,500 breakout entry right now in between you can take some setups you know these are these are gonna be scalps so basically these are you're in and out you got to be in and out pretty quick uh, so you don't get caught up in the up and down um so for these you're right now you're kind of looking above this 16,300 level right uh, the thing is that it's kind of, you know, been faking out. It's been, uh, nah, uh, nah, uh, nah, you know? So, um, the high right here on this candle, the high on this one is 16,323. The high on this one is 16,310. And this one hasn't passed 300, right? So you want to, you would want to, um, have your entry above one of these candles, you know? Could pretty much choose which one you want to do and set an entry above that so either six above 16,310 or above 16,323 so those are the two uh, if you're looking for a scalp right now you would want an entry above that have your stop basically somewhere below right below 300 if it goes under 300 you're gonna scalp you're gonna stop out and you just want to enter that again so uh, that's kind of the trade that I would be looking for if I'm looking for a scalp right now um other than that the other two levels is basically you know 500 and 16,000. those are the two main levels everything else is just for scalps you know you're gonna get very small movements probably maybe you could get a movement from 300 to 400 or 300 to 500 uh, but you want to be taking profits that whole time and then just set up new entries above 500. so like that if you get rejected you've taken your profits if it does break out you have new entries there so it's a win-win situation so that's pretty much it that's what i'm looking for this weekend um for bitcoin uh those are the only ones that have interest in trading um let's take a look at other things in the market and see what other setups there might be so ethereum i've been playing ethereum a lot um in the trade room uh ethereum's uh as you guys probably know a coin that I like to trade uh, and you guys can see it's basically the same setup right we told you guys to buy down here you guys probably didn't listen so if you didn't listen look at that takeoff you guys missed out I told you guys um, it's up from that entry it's up basically a hundred dollars so it would be what 90 92 dollars per share per ethereum that you bought there so right now, the plays that I'm looking for in Ethereum though, 460 is that main number there. The issue with 460 is look at all of this. You know what I mean? It's just going up and down so much. You're gonna get either, either you need to have a very wide stop or you're gonna get stopped out, right? If you get in on the wrong side of it, you're gonna get stopped out. So, I mean, ideally the way you want to play, it's kind of the same thing. You want to let it go down and you want to buy it on the bounce up. The thing is when it's bouncing, it's, it's not really going too far up. Like th on this one, it did take off somewhat, but, um, but yeah, it hasn't been, you know, it hasn't been moving too much. It's, it's just been kind of bouncing up and down in the same, in the same range here. So 460, uh, if the thing, if you're, if you're playing that 460 level, you have to have such a wide stop, man. It's, uh, it's a little, it's, it's a little risky. So for me, I'd rather try to catch something down at the 455 level, maybe 
uh, it's hit it it's hit it a few times uh, that's what I would rather try to catch or uh, basically a breakout entry so the breakout number for uh, Ethereum currently so 470 is that first number as you can see it's already above it um, but that second level is probably going to be 480 480 is definitely an area um, that it needs to break uh, to continue up if we break 480 then we're probably gonna gonna see 490 and 500 up there um, which should be also uh, pretty tough resistances up there um, so that's what I'm currently looking at right now um, my play right now is gonna be the safest place probably above 480 um, if if we're dropping under if you see this drop under 470 you can play that 470 and if it drops further, I would try to get somewhere down here close to 455. I just at 460, I just don't like it. It's so much, so much going on there. Maybe 457 and a half might be a level that you can play. Um, but 460, uh, just so much, you know, up and down in that area. So I try to avoid it if, if possible. Um, that's pretty much it for Ethereum. Let's jump over to Bitcoin Cash. All right, Bitcoin Cash. Not much has been going on here, as you can see. Um, we had this little run up. Remember, we dropped under this, and uh, I just had no interest until it broke that. Finally, we broke above it, and it, you can see here it like struggled a little bit, and then boom, broke out. As soon as it broke out, it took off, right? Then it dropped right back down. Then it took off again, and then it's just kind of grinding down right now. So right now it's back to this level. This is a level where uh, there's a lot of buying. However, the issue here is just, again, there's so much going on here, right? So much up and down. So you'd have to let it drop and then catch it as it goes up. That's the only way to really play that level right now. Um, other than that, you could also play this 250 level. I always like this big whole number. Um, so 250 and then this range up here between like 257 to 256 ish right so um, that's the first one I'm looking for the second one I'm looking at uh, for a breakout uh, I don't know man there's not not really much that I like that I'm like oh my god yes I want to enter that breakout but the level would probably be around here I don't know why these numbers are so weird. 274. Like, why is it such a random area? But 274 is the top one. Uh, the high is 278. Uh, so that could be another breakout. Um, 264. You know, so those are some breakouts that you can play if you're trading those. I'm not trading Bitcoin Cash. I just don't like how it's moving. I don't like that pattern. And the, the levels are just weird to me. So I'm probably skipping this one, but you guys feel free to play it. Uh, that 270 range is also a possible breakout right there. So um, good luck if you do enter. Let me know how you how it goes. Um, Litecoin. So Litecoin is another one that we've spoken about a lot. Uh, we spoke about this level here. You saw finally we got the breakout. And then we spoke about this level. It kind of just jumped around there for a bit. And finally, when it did break it, though, it took off as expected. So that's the thing with these levels. You got to play it as it goes up, not as it goes down. Um, but yeah, so it took off uh, right now. I would wait back. I would wait for either a pullback to the two to $60. Um, and again, catch it on the way up, not the way down. Or uh, the next breakout would probably be, let's see, let's see where it's at right now. Right now it's around 65, so probably $70 I would say would be that next number that's really whole. Um, that would be the next breakout that I'd be looking at. Um, XRP, let's see, XRP finally been moving up today as you guys can see here we had this it went dropped down into the level that we liked this was that green level look at it look at it look at it 
and look at that takeoff. So you guys entered at 2350 and you took off to 2650. Congratulations. You guys did great job on that trade. Um, so we had a pullback here, right? And then it's just kind of been grinding slowly, you know, with, with a few moves up. Um, so what I'm looking at for is this 26 area. I like that 26 area. That's where I would want to try to enter. We actually took a trade there today. Um, and then the next area is probably above 27. Uh, looks like 2680, 2660. Those should, those should all be areas of interest for breakout trades there. Um, chain link. You guys can see came down to our area if you guys bought here remember you let it go down on the bounce up that's where you enter um so you guys bought that ten dollar range i told you we've spoken about ten dollar range so many times look at this all the way back here so um if you guys got that ten dollar range amazing um it took off all the way to 1350 1360 pulled back now just kind of a uh, bull flag right here um so it's the range is getting tighter and tighter so we should see some sort of movement soon because of the pattern uh the probability is that it's gonna continue up so um the trades i'm looking for here is a break above 13 dollars. that would be a breakout entry right there you could expect to hit you know like 13 50 14 um on a pullback then you're talking about probably 12 50 12 dollars uh, 11 50 that range that's pretty much it for chain link tezos uh, so tezos as you guys can see it has this it had this uh, jump up finally uh, broke above two dollars came back to two dollars broke back above so it tested it um, I told you guys last time that two dollar range is where I would buy um, so as you guys can see it broke it came back tested it and then it's just been kind of you know chilling consolidating right now um but it is a good pattern here so you can expect maybe a continuation to the upside i'm still not really looking to trade this but if you're looking for a breakout it's 220 if you're looking for a support entry it's two dollars those are the two entries for tezos um neo neo you can see that we finally got some movement to the upside we broke above this level here then we came right back down and then we slowly consolidated up um right now still working its way up the levels that i was looking for i told you guys last time i believe was 16 dollars. so you see it's tested it here a few times so above 16 is a breakout entry um not really looking to to enter any any type of support entries here so only looking at that 16 dollar mark uh for it for a entry with uh this high being the first target 17 being the second um let's see what the futures look like always like to look at the futures chart just to see you know you see there's a little uh gap up right there came back filled it and it just it's been moving pretty good um let's uh take a look at cardano not much to see here on cardano yeah i don't i don't like anything in cardano I'm not looking to take any trades here if you're looking to take a trade probably i'm still looking above this level 800 satoshis so under that i just have no interest and then the last one we're gonna look at is eos i have recently added eos to uh the coins that i'm trading so it looks like it has a uh, kind of just been chilling in this area, consolidating, consolidating. We had a drop and had a went back up, consolidated a bit, and then another impulse move up today. So we're currently here at this level. The entry would probably be above this this uh, 260 area, but as you, as you can see, it's faking out and testing, and you know, so you got to be careful with it. But that's kind of the entry right there, that 260 area above it. Or you can just do above the high of the day, which is 264 ish. Um, so that's pretty much the only trade I would look to take in EOS. So that's pretty much it, guys. I think we covered uh, everything for the weekend. We looked over different trades that we're looking to take. Um, you know, we looked over different possibilities. 
and actually one of the trades that we spoke about was uh, to enter an entry above uh, 16,300 remember we said either above right right above 300 or above 320 something would be the breakout trade and look at this guys it has come to fruition or whatever that word is i'm not even sure um but but yeah that that trade is currently happening right now um so yeah guys we, we pretty much covered everything for the weekend these are the levels and the trades that we're looking at right now um anything else not really looking to take any other trades over the weekend as always keep in mind that uh weekends are typically low volume it has been a little bit different recently as of recent um but typically it's low volume on weekends so just uh be careful with your stops be careful with your position sizes and if you're using leverage careful with the leverage you're using um and that's basically it, man. If you guys have any questions, you know, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and then also one more thing, um, the question of the day. So we do have a question of the day winner, right? Uh, so let's go to our video and see. Let's let's pick out this winner. All right. So here we go. Let's see who the winner is for the first giveaway. Good luck, guys. And the winner is Michael Van Lerhoven. I hope I said that right. You are our winner for the first giveaway. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure on the comment. So it says the first one is that you need to buy between 12,700 and 12,800 on support. I like this because I made some money off this tip this morning. Amazing, dude. I'm glad you made some money there. But I bought at 12,900. The second is buy when it breaks 13,000. So you buy around 13.75 and you take profits at 13.150 or higher. And the third I missed because I was working, you buy at the new breakout 13,400. Thank you for the tips. Amazing, dude. Thank you so much. Do I have any uh, audio here? I might I might in post production, I might put some audio of people clapping. Yeah! I don't know if I'm going to have it or not though. But hopefully I did do that and Hopefully you guys hear the whole crowd cheering. Congrats, Michael. Michael. I don't know if it's Michael, Michael. All right, so let's get now the second video. Boom. All right, guys, so let's see who the second winner is. And the winner for the second giveaway is... That was pretty epic, right? Thomas Tom. <laughs> this guy is, is a a bot, a, a scammer. Pick another winner. Let's go again, guys. The winner is. Let's see. Ah, uh, he didn't answer the question of the day. Nimers, you didn't answer the question of the day, my guy. Pick another winner. Nope, another scammer. What is going on here? Another scammer. Wait, is it? Yep, another scammer. Guys, we will get a we will get a winner. Another Why does this guy keep winning? Who is this guy? Boom, there we go. VC, you are our winner. It took a while to get the winner, but we finally got him. The winner, he subscribed and liked the video. That was all you had to do uh, to be a winner and enter this contest. Congratulations, VC. You are our second winner, winner for the giveaway. Please send us, send us, uh, I can't speak English sometimes. Please send us a DM. Okay, send us a DM and we will get you all set up in the trade room for your giveaway prize. Thank you very much. And that's pretty much it, guys. That wraps it up. Guys, please, uh, as always. Oh, hold on. I have to do the question of the day for this video. Okay, question of the day, guys. What are the two entries I'm watching this weekend for Bitcoin? That is the question of the day, guys. That is it. I am wrapping this up. This video went far too long. Hit the like. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think. Also, drop your answers for the question of the day if you want to win. Um, and hopefully you guys 
caught one of these trades here. Look at this trade setup that I just gave you guys in this video. It's already cashing. Hopefully, you guys are cashing. If not, catch the next one. I will see you guys on Monday. As always, have a great weekend. Peace and love.